How's it going, everybody? This is Today in Art. Today is May 27th, 2019. Uh, basically, this is the podcast where I, as an artist, give my opinion on other artists and art events and current art news and all that good stuff. Uh, it's on YouTube, it's on Anchor, it's on Spotify, it's on other various platforms as video on YouTube, then audio only for the other things. So let's just get into it. So something that has come up, uh, I saw this last night. Tim Poole was talking about it when he was talking about Lauren Southern's Borderless being uh, banned. But there's also an artist that had their uh, art banned. And I guess we can play this little video here. Uh, you can see the video on YouTube, but you should be able to hear the audio, I believe, in the audio version. So let's play this. this is like a two-minute news section from... I guess the maybe local news in that area. For some, the MAGA, MAGA, or Make America Great Again hat has become a symbol of pride, but for others, it's a symbol of hate. A Maryland woman uses them to make art. So she says her works are a comment on hate speech, but now she's banned on Facebook because of it. She told our Jess Arnold she just wants a chance to defend her work and start a dialogue. Seeing a swastika anywhere is jarring, but if you look closer, there's a phrase we've all come to know, make America great again. Yeah, it's made out of MAGA hats. People who are wearing these hats say that they're harmless, they're innocuous, and this series is a way of calling them out. Maryland-based artist Kate Kretz rips apart the hats and re-sews them into symbols of hate that we all recognize, like the Nazi armband or KKK hood. It's not really up to the wearer to say, oh, you shouldn't feel afraid of me. When Kate posted this picture of the armband on her Facebook page, she says she got a lot of positive feedback from users, but Facebook took it down within four to five days. Saying that it violated their community standards, I appealed it, reposted it with text on the photograph that said, this is not hate speech, this is commentary on hate speech. My account was disabled. Kate says she filed an appeal and hasn't heard a whisper. I asked her how she thinks Facebook should draw the line when it comes to images and phrases that look like hate speech. I understand doing things for the greater good. However, I think that artists are a big part of Facebook's content providers and they owe us a fair hearing. This is essentially her livelihood. She can't access her thousands of contacts who look out for her art shows or new pieces. And she believes the community needs to see art like this now more than ever. There's a big difference between hate speech, which incites violence, and commentary on hate speech, which incites dialogue. She only hopes Facebook gives her the freedom to have that dialogue again. Jess Arnold, WUSA 9. We reached out to Facebook for comment. We are still waiting to hear back. So it's funny, she's saying that Facebook, or I mean, uh, that hate speech incites violence. Like, no, I mean, hate speech, in quotations, is still covered under free speech. You have your First Amendment rights to hate anybody for whatever reason you want to. And you can't incite violence, you can't be slanderous. But, uh, we'll, we'll read this. A lot of this will probably be uh, similar. So it seems to be she had the armband thing. That's what got uh, initially taken down. Then she like re-uploaded again trying to say this is not hate speech. This is commenting on hate speech. And that's what got her uh, Facebook disabled. So like I think before we get into this, I think this whole idea that like make America great again is directly correlated somehow to racism or neo-Nazism is like is completely wrong it's stupid and the idea that you're like pushing this like false narrative and you believe it so much just like kind of shows what kind of like echo chamber what little bubble what little like elitist thing that you're in it's just <clears throat> i don't know because they always like want to say that it's racism but like make america great again it's supposed to like go back to like America, like middle America being like industrious with like the factories before everything got sold out <clears throat> in the 90s because of like NAFTA. 
Because I guess we, like, because the town I grew up in, North Carolina, when I was very young, like, a large part of the uh, town would work for, like, the uh, Renfro Sock Company. And that was kind of like the lifeblood of the town for the most part. But NAFTA happened, then all that pretty much went down to, uh, <clears throat> went down to Mexico. And, like, the town, it's like 30 years later almost. And the town is just now starting to, like, try to recover on, like, tourism if it can. And, like, the building's still there, and they're trying to, like, turn it into, like, some kind of, like, loss or something like that. So it's – you can't call the 63 million Americans that voted for Donald Trump. Like, oh, they're all white supremacists. They're all neo-Nazis. They're all – all this stuff. No. <clears throat> Uh, uh, an artist who redesigns President Trump's Make America Great Again MAGA hats into recognizable symbols of hate speech says she was banned from Facebook for violating the platform standards. Now this kind of goes into Facebook. It's, this is a very multifaceted thing. Like Facebook itself, it's like it, there's like a big debate whether they should, whether you should actually have like your freedom of speech on Facebook since it's a private corporation. But the issue they're having with that is that Facebook says, is calling itself a platform and not a publisher. Like certain things like the Daily Wire, that's clearly a conservative, you know, like publisher. And if you are a publisher, you can be sued for uh, like false articles or, for, or, or false statements that you put out. So Facebook wants to call itself a platform. So it can't be it the company itself can't be sued for what somebody puts on it. And they should be able to do that except there's been like stories coming out where they actually are they're like censoring people just based off them being conservative or they're like shadow banning or they're like throttling their accounts. So they're trying to do they're trying to skirt the line between publisher and platform. They need to be one or the other. So, uh, Kate Kretz of Mount Rainer, Maryland, rips apart the iconic red campaign hat and re-sews it to look like other symbols such as Nazi armband or a Ku Klux Klan hood. The armband is actually titled Only the Terrorized on the Right to Name Symbols of Terror, which is... Okay. And so if people are afraid, and so if people are afraid of people that are walking around with MAGA hats because they're afraid of violence, it's not really up to the wearer to say, oh, you shouldn't feel afraid of me. Yeah. Why shouldn't it be? Uh, the artist said Facebook took down the image of the reimagined Nazi paraphernalia for violating community standards. She appealed a decision and labeled another image with the text clarifying the photo was a piece of art, but her entire account was later disabled. Kretz told the outlet that she uses her Facebook page to sell her art and maintain her livelihood, as well as keep contacts for art shows. I understand doing things for the greater good, Kretz said. However, I think artists are a big part of Facebook's content providers, and they owe us a fair hearing. Content creators... And businesses are a big part. I don't know if actual artists themselves are. Then it also kind of feels like she has this like entitled. Uh, like it sounds like she feels entitled because I don't know what reason. Like you're not entitled to be on any social platform. Like she has a website and we'll kind of take a glance at that. But like if you're an artist like always have your stuff on like, have your own individual website that is your own. And then if you are on Facebook or on Instagram or on Twitter, Mines, Gab, BitChute, YouTube, like, all these other, like, Tumblr, all these other things, like, you can put your stuff there, but recognize that they can kind of, like, shut that down at any time they want to, pretty much for any reason it seems to be lately. So, just keep that in mind. Uh... She appealed a decision and labeled another image of text clarifying the photo as a piece of art. She told that Alice uses Facebook to sell her art, maintain her livelihood, as well as keep contacts for art shows. 
I understand doing greater good. Uh, says the Hills reached out to Facebook for comment. Uh, Kretz called Kretz told KTVU that she buys only knockoff MAGA hats, MAGA hats that are the same texture and color, so she would not directly. So <laughs> she is not directly funding Trump's campaign. I wanted to make sure I wasn't putting any money in Trump's pocket. So it kind of sounds like she has like Trump derangement syndrome. Kind of sounds like she's doing like some all this like virtue signaling. Now there's, there's another part. I think she has like a medium post too. We'll get to, or I'm not going to probably read through it, but she has like a medium post you can like look at. And she talks about, she was like, uh, her art became like really political like eight years ago. And she has like some art that is, uh, like eight years ago, she had some art that is, uh, was it like gun liquors? Where she made like, it's almost like gay porn, but they replaced like the dick with like guns or whatever. I mean, technically, they're like, technically, they're pretty good paintings, but it's just, I guess that's when her art be started becoming political. But that's not specifically what we're talking about at this moment. Uh, the cap has become a polarizing symbol since Trump's 2016 campaign. And it also talks about uh, high school in Pennsylvania kind of blurred some stuff. So <clears throat> this is also the hood, like a clan hood that she made using those. Uh, this is like Fox 2 KTVU. Uh, funny this one's in, this is from Oakland California this uh new site uh just 10 minutes before we spoke over the phone Baltimore area based artist Kate Chris received a call from Benicia's Jen Tuff Gallery she said they want to show her art in an up, up, upcoming exhibition this July her work is called the MAGA hat the MAGA hat collection part of a larger ongoing so-called hashtag bully culture series which that's Bullying to an extreme is bad, but like basic bullying, like people need to, you can't just, people need to be pressured. This whole like fat acceptance, this is getting off topic, but this whole fat acceptance thing is like not good for society. But uh, but her images are work led to her Facebook account being disabled. Once again, I don't, like I don't think, I don't think flat earth or, flat earthers and all this stuff, like and all these like anti like it shouldn't you should know what these people are saying to realize oh you're, yeah you're kind of stupid you need to have that out there it's like when stuff gets censored then that kind of like it makes it look almost like a little bit taboo like people want to go search it out like the only reason I heard about her in this hat is because it got censored so she's probably getting a lot of press and a lot of views on a website just because she got censored and a lot of this is uh now going back to Tim Pool talking about Lauren Southern's uh new documentary got like censored or deleted on YouTube. Then she, she ended up like re-uploading and it got way more views during the re-upload. And a lot of people went to see it because it got censored. But like over the last couple of years, like the people on the right, the conservatives, like they've almost gotten used to the censorship that these uh, big tech companies are doing. And not all, but luckily the people that are big enough are able to kind of like rally behind and be like, yeah, no, this is done unjustly. You need to undo it. But people on the left that have been like applauding the censorship of ideas and stuff they don't like, once those same rules get applied to them, they're like, oh, we should be censored. All Our First Amendment, like all of a sudden, like they were like saying like when Alex Jones and Paul Joseph Watson – and lower loom, lower loomer, and all these other people get censored. Like, yeah. Then these same rules get applied to them. Like, no. It's like they were like, oh, my private platform. You can't have the government tell what they can and can't do. Then like it gets thrown to them. Like, oh, what about my First Amendment rights? Like they're fucking, they're being very fucking hypocritical. But yeah, let's just get back to this. 
<clears throat> uh, the hats from a collection, bold and crimson colored, are the exact shade of red as any President Donald Trump MAGA hat. That's because they're actually made of them. One Piece hate hat is actually more of a hood. A Ku Klux Klan hood made up of about 13 deconstructed knockoff Make America Great Again hats. With the exception of one which she bought. All to make sure she had the right texture and color. I want to make sure I wasn't putting any money in Trump's pockets. Kretz said she did shell out 25 for one which she purchased on Trump's website. Now I'm on his mailing list. She explained. She said explaining that it's good to know your enemies. And they're right there. should tell you. Like, like your enemies. The president's your enemy. Alright. Uh, the other deconstructed piece of MAGA. Ephemera is reconstructed into a swastika armband. This perhaps is what flagged Facebook to a possible hate speech situation after she posted the images of her work on the profile. So this is the one that she posted and it got taken down. And another one that she posted had the uh, <clears throat> saying that this is not. Let's go. Is it this one? This is the one she posted and it got taken down. Then she posted it again with like this is not hate speech. This is art addressing hate speech. They want to say that like, hate speech isn't covered under free speech, which it very much. I don't even like the idea of like hate speech. I mean, speech is speech. Unless you're calling for violence, unless you're inciting violence, unless you're doing a call to action, unless you're being like slanderous, everything else is covered, whether you like it or not. Ah, uh, where are we at here? Why is that not? <clears throat> uh, she wrote a lengthy post published this week on Medium. Her art is meant to call out those who wear the hats and claim they are innocuous. Because heaven forbid you want, like, factory jobs brought back to America. That's what this whole trade war is about with China. Uh, uh, this is, this is, this is funny. I feel like when I drive to rural Pennsylvania and people driving have just the word Trump on the car, I almost it almost feels threatening to me. It's become a verb. I have friends of color and gay friends who tense up when they see the MAGA hat. We're in a dangerous place. History is repeating itself. It's like we're all walking around in a daze like we can't believe it's happening. Hate crimes are up since Trump has become president. That little last fact is hate crimes has started to be reported in places it wasn't before. So it's not hate crimes are up. And how about the people of color and the gay people that are for Trump that have MAGA hats that make fucking dresses out of the, the MAGA stuff? How about them? Or they're they're not they don't agree with you, right? So they're 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 not part of your little clique. This is it's like such I don't like saying people have like Trump derangement syndrome because it's kinda like it, but it's it's very much. It seems like she's like was kind of an artist. I mean, she is an artist, but maybe her art wasn't doing that well. And then she started doing kind of like activism, activist art. Then she's like, she's almost like this upper middle class, like white progressive people telling like other people what they should and shouldn't feel. Kind of like these. Uh, it happened probably a couple months ago now, but like these like white college educated like antifa people they're like screaming like candace owen is a black woman calling her like a white supremacist i'm like these people are fucking delusional but once again first amendment right she has the right to say it her current work literally rips maga hats apart and sews them back together in traditional symbols like hatred while examining the way the u.s cultivates aggression and entitlement how like, aggression is needed to protect people. And entitlement? I mean, America is the greatest country. I will say that. <clears throat> but Kretz is no stranger to controversy. Her homoerotic gun liquors collection is just as it sounds. Depictions of men licking their automatic weapons. Uh, those weapons they show aren't necessarily automatic. So I don't know why they're calling it automatic weapons for I mean, AKs can be single shots, M16s, M4s, AR-15s. Well, uh, AR-15s 
can be single shots. So I don't know why they're calling them automatic weapons for. They're not machine guns that they're showing. They're just fucking rifles. Uh, she says she was called awful names by internet trolls for sharing this work. Here's another issue I have too. This happens a lot, but this is like shown here. If someone criticizes, if someone criticizes your work, someone doesn't agree with your idea, you you automatically call them trolls. It's, granted, there probably is some trolls, but calling everybody that doesn't like your stuff a troll. Here's the thing too. For a while, it's kind of it's kind of died down since the whole Russiagate thing it was like, oh yeah, that was a big lie for the last two to three years. But uh, like they're calling people that like disagree with them or had like conservative views they're like, oh, you must be a Russian bot. And they're calling conservatives and people on the right like Russian bots all the time. But if you kind of switch it over, you like start calling people on the left NPCs because they just kind of they have like four to five talking points. They just kind of like repeat like an NPC in a game. Then all of a sudden, calling somebody on the left an NPC was dehumanizing, even though it's kind of the exact same thing. Calling someone on the right a Russian bot. So there's, you see, like there's a lot of uh, hypocrisy there. <clears throat> so uh, usually she's careful with her private information on social media and is mindful of photos she puts out there, which you should be on the internet especially family members, but after gun liquors, a photo of her holding her daughter in an interview setting was found. Whoever doctored it covered her daughter with a band-aid and posted it on her social media. Okay. She said it disturbed her, but she blocks the trolls. If you don't agree with what I say, how I think, block. We'll block you. You're blocked. You don't think the way I think, block. Wrong think, block. Face crime, Block. <clears throat> it's scarier for women to do this than a man. Why? I thought we were equal. Unless you don't think we're equal. Uh, as she wrote on Medium, none of the art I have produced is more disturbing than the things happening in real life that inspired me to make the work. In early May, Facebook removed Chris's image of her latest Work for violating community standards. The artist protested, re uploaded her images. This time was a disclaimer stating that his art was not hate speech. And in fact, it was commentary on hate speech, much like a political cartoon. Some political cartoons, especially if we have like swastika stuff, they get taken down as well. Because Facebook, as a company, doesn't want anything that can be construed as negative so they don't have something like the YouTube adpocalypse happening. <clears throat> they want to seem squeaky clean to appeal to more advertisers to make more money as it is a company. Uh, then Facebook disabled her account. It's really a giant mistake. I have no way of knowing if the trolls got together to report it or if it was Facebook, Facebook's imaging software, image software. Either someone saw an opportunity or I'm a victim of a faulty system. Either way, she's not to blame. It's someone else's fault. Not, not, not me. You. I've read a lot on this, and it is, I don't like it. Uh, Chris described feeling powerless in a situation. I have to be able to show my art. This is my business. You you have a website. Uh, for 30 years, she's been a working artist and has spent the last 10 years on Facebook where she posts images of her, her artwork. She likens the social media platform to her own carefully curated mailing list. Uh, as an artist, you should have your own actual email mailing list that is separate from any social media site because you don't own that site you own your own website so keep that in mind <clears throat> we provide a lot of content for them mm, maybe <clears throat> I get a lot from Facebook and I also give a lot when you do business with someone you always get your work back I have no recourse to get my info my own info and content back from them <clears throat> Uh, KTV, you reached out to Facebook for comment on the vetting process and the timeline for the artist potentially getting your Facebook account reinstated. We did not hear back from Facebook, but Chris said after more than two weeks, her account was back up as of Sunday, May 26th. So it is back up. I actually went and looked for it. 
I was looking for like an art business page and it seems that she has just like a normal personal Facebook page that she's using. And I looked through and from what she was saying on here, she, she's saying she had like this massive group of people that were liking it. <clears throat> and the most, like one of the clan hood things, like th that had the most likes or whatever. And there's 184. So it wasn't like she had, it wasn't like she had like this massive like following, like she's making it out to be, which I understand having contacts and stuff, but the way she sounds like, because there's been <clears throat> like Facebook pages that are like conservatives that have like 800,000 have like a million followers and they're just like X'd out. I think she said on one of these she had like 800 friends on there, which I don't know. It seems like it's getting granite. Once again, I'll say I don't think it should have been deleted, but it's kind of getting blown out of proportion. So. And the time her account was disabled, she checked with Facebook every morning and filled out a form to have her page reviewed. I keep hoping that a person uh, gets it. I haven't accepted the fact that my page is gone, she said at the time. The way I'm being treated makes me feel like they don't understand how their users are using it. There's like two or three. I think there's like two billion users. So uh, we have another one here. This kind of goes over a lot of the same stuff. Kate Kretz says she does not create the art because she believes in white supremacy, but rather to both call out wearers who claim the hat to be innocuous and to sound the alarm that history is repeating itself. I gotta wonder if people are... Granted, I know there probably is. I think the estimations were there may be like 10,000 white supremacists in America. Which is... I mean, 3 million people is 1%. So it's like this like very small, minuscule like number. And granted, there's probably some that maybe wear a MAGA hat. But then again, I don't even think they like Trump because he was helping out Israel. And I, I want to say his daughter is like Jewish. And they don't like Jewish people because it's not like the Aryan race or whatever. So the fact they're trying to... It's just, I don't know, it doesn't make, it. when you think about it, if you actually think about it, it doesn't make sense. Uh, as Facebook cracks down on white nationalist content, uh, left-wing artist was caught in the crosshairs after the network said her MAGA hat inspired artwork violated community guidelines. This is a lot of the same stuff. Hmm. Da -da 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 -da. They said they had a petition. So this is her. If you want to look at her, I'm not going to give you her Facebook, but if you want to like check out her website, it's katekretz.com. There's all that. Oh, let me go back to the, the actual front page here. Maybe. Now let's go to the work by, no, work by series. You got your bully culture. You got your MAGA hat. There's this. There's that. I mean, you can check it out. I mean, the technique, the painting technique, I actually, I think is pretty good. Because I actually like the way she's using, like, colors in, like, the shadows and stuff. The, I, the actual idea behind it itself is very... I have an IQ of 5,000. I'm smarter than you. I'm entitled. I'm pers Yeah, it's kind of that. If you really want to get into... She has like this massive, long, uh, <clears throat> medium post that I'll link in the description as well. And there were some things here I was going to see what she says. Uh, the series is difficult and provocative. It requires warning signs when exhibited. Early work on the fetishization of guns resulted in threats to me and my family. Some have said or implied that I'm asking f for whatever happens to me as a result of making the series. In response, I maintain that... One, I've never heard anyone tell a male artist that he was asked for it, then you haven't. That term is, after all, the language abuse, then you haven't really. There's there's plenty. And two, none of the art I have produced is more disturbing than the things happening in real life that inspired me to make the work. I am simply embroidering, burning wood, drawing, or painting, not hurting animals, animals of the earth, not hurting 
humans, animals, or the earth, like the perpetrators featured in my work, get outraged at the injustice, not the art calling it to light. Uh, kind of goes back into the MAGA hat thing. There's some things in here I was wanting to talk about. Mm. Talk about them being violated community service guidelines. She re-uploaded it again. Where was it? She's saying in the art world is not what you do, it's who you know. Networking with Facebook has helped her. They're also saying you have like 90 days to recover your account or all the data gets lost. While I know that the most likely scenario in my case is that some trolls got together to remove my work through orchestrated complaints, the bad guys won. Because heaven forbid you have a disagreement with my idea. Or that the image recognition software got it wrong and some cultural ignorant human rubber stamped the machine's decision at a glance. The end result is the same. My work and finally my voice has been silenced. <laughs> There's nothing I can do to get through Facebook except this article and if it happened to me it could happen to anyone. That's true. Uh, and perhaps it is only a coincidence that my work is highly critical of the current administration and its followers, and perhaps the absurdity and poetry I have an art that warns of impending fascism. Rendering invisible by corporation will be a loss on most. Where is... Uh... Mm hmm... Where is that? She, uh... Uh, more, most importantly, I beg you not to censor your work, but instead find creative workarounds for sharing it so it's censored in a creative way. We live in dangerous times and needed artist voices more and need artist voices more than ever. Today, in America, we live in the safest time in all of human history. This fact that it's all of a sudden is so dangerous now and here. No. It's not. Statistically, it is not. The, th the thing that like makes it maybe seem like it doesn't is like this media, like they highlight all these like terrible things going on. But when you actually go out into the world, at work, neighbors, whatever it is, like, no. Most people aren't even like paying attention to any of this stuff. So. <laughs> Where was I at? Uh... We live in dangerous times and need artists' voices more than ever. Because artists are so entitled. They're so good. We're, we as artists are so much better than you. I don't like that. I don't like that entitled elitist fucking mentality that is like in, that like dominates like kind of like, it's like artists and galleries and leftists and elitists and this social progressive like, Ah oh, man, I just, it's, I don't like it. It's like I've really been turned off by it. Uh, artists are, as Kurt Von, Vonnegut stated, the canaries in the coal mine. I wouldn't make the work that I do if I didn't believe in its capacity to affect change. Powerful art can get into nervous system and touch parts of you that rhetoric cannot. People who censor art understand and respect that power, which is why they try to silence us. Solomon Rushdie once said a poet's job is to name the unnameable to point at frauds, to take sides, to start arguments, shape the world, and stop it from going to sleep. At this critical juncture in history, let us not allow anyone or anything to keep us from doing our job. No one had, you just, they just did it on the platform. You still have your website. You still have freedom of speech. There's one thing I was wanting to find on here where it kind of, uh, Where's it at? Uh, oh, there's anyway. Is it this one? Where 
Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? I got to I got to say it. Maybe it was over here. Mm, I want to find it. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, <clears throat> Although I've spoken with one person who had her account restored after a month for nudity, most have said that accounts are restored within three to seven days. I will never know whether the Trump supporters who regularly trolled me reported my work. I'm told they are now coordinating efforts to remove my work. Or whether the images were censored by Facebook's new anti-hate speech impl 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 implement implementation gone awry. While the initial photos may have been deleted automatically through image recognition software, I assume that the review process was conducted by human. And if so, I wonder how they are qualified for such a position. It's disconcerting to think that a 20 something person sitting in a big room in a far corner of the earth being paid to process yays or nays as expediently as possible gets to decide with a quick look and the click of a cursor if my work is art or whether it will be allowed to reach my carefully cultivated audience. One would think that a billion dollar company that has already been taken to court over censorship of art might employ at least one art specialist to review these types of posts. How dare some 20 year old that has no idea, that has no conception of my intellect, my creativity decide for me. It's just, I like... I was researching this for a while before I made this video, and it's like, like I said, I don't like the hypocrisy, I don't like the elitism, and all this stuff that comes with, like, then, like, the virtue signaling, like, the TDS, it's, I, it's, I just don't like it. I mean, I just want to, like, I want to, like, once again, I don't like the message itself, because I think the message itself is wrong, it's pushing a false narrative. But I do believe in free speech, so she does have the right to do it. Facebook didn't feel the way, but then again, it's it's her Facebook page is now back up as of yesterday. So, this has kind of been quite a long one, because there's like a lot of stuff to it. And I kind of ranted and went on like kind of side things or whatever. But, uh, <clears throat> if you made it this far, good on you. Maybe you're actually interested in this. Like, as an artist, make sure you have your own website. You can, yes, use social media to your advantage, but don't, like, uh, don't think social media is the end-all, be-all. I mean, there's, like, artists today that are, like, uh, they, they have, like, they don't do any online stuff. They're, like, they're, like, very against that. But, uh, <clears throat> I have the articles and stuff linked. If you want to support me, you can do that through uh, Patreon, PayPal. I'm probably going to set up a subscribe star. Like I said, this is on YouTube, Anchor, Spotify, other podcasting platforms. I may start putting these on BitChute just to get it out more and more and more. Uh, but this has been Today in Art, May 27, 2019. So uh, have a good one. Go make art, but don't be a self-entitled hypocritical asshole. I think that's I think that's the I think that's what we learned from here. And don't trust big tech companies. Because even if you're on the left and you're cheering the censorship of the right, those same rules and guidelines will be applied to you because the cliffs are eroding. It's gonna be closer and closer and closer. So uh have a good one, you guys and you gals and you guys. <sighs>